Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sani of LS Web Apps. Alright, in previous versions of Laravel, the um, form helpers used to be included in the Laravel call. That is, they used to be um, installed by default when you install Laravel, but nowadays they have been removed from core. So what that means is that we are going to have to install them separately. And luckily, there has been um, a, a package vendor that um, has forked the original Laravel helpers, form helpers that is, and um, is maintaining it right now. And it's under the name collect Laravel Collective slash HTML. So we're gonna have to install that, right? So first thing we have to do is um, install that in the terminal. But before we do that, let's see where, f um, wh where the dependencies for our applications are normally listed. And let's, um, usually it's in the composer.json file in your root folder and um, they are inside this um, object here. So right now we have PHP installed and Laravel framework as well, okay? So when we install the form helpers, it's going to be listed in this list here, All right? So go to your terminal and type composer require. And what that does is it adds the dependency to this list and then installs it in your vendor folder, All right? So as you see right now, there is no Laravel collective um, folder here, but once we install it, it should show up there, All right? So require, Laravel collective slash HTML. Um, you might be wondering um, why we are not installing um, Illuminate HTML. And the reason for that is I saw somewhere around the web that it's no longer being maintained. I may be wrong, and if I am, please rectify me. But um, the same source said that um, this package is the most up to date and the one that works with um, Laravel 5.2. So that's why we're installing that. Okay, so go ahead and press enter. Right, so this might take a while. So I'll pause the video here and once it's completed, I will um, resume it. Okay, so now you see that the package has been installed. Let's go back in our composer JSON file and I'll show you that it has been listed in this list here. Okay, and also in our vendor folder, now we have a Laravel collective and an HTML subfolder in there. But we're not done yet. Uh, we have installed the package, but now we have to add it to our alias and providers list. And how you do that is you go to the config folder and go to the app file.php and bam, underneath where it says providers, search for that. Okay, so now in this providers um, array, you have to add it at the end here. So what you have to add is collective um, slash HTML and finally slash HTML service provider. Okay, and this has to be capital H. Next, you have to go to the aliases um, array and at the end there, we add a form facade as an alias so that when we say form it refers to the right class and which class we have to add collective slash html slash form facade okay and now colon colon class so that it gets the instance of that class let's duplicate this and now let's just change this form to um, html okay and finally, let's rectify this. I just remembered I didn't put the colon colon class there. Okay. So now let's go to our create um, dot blade dot PHP file and um, open some forms there. So now these forms are made available um, by the aliases and the uh, um, providers that we initially um, added a few seconds ago, right? So what you have to do is um, open one curly brace and do a bang bang and then close it and do a double one as well here. Then now you have to call the form class and say form open and inside there you have to pass an array and then route and which route do we want to refer to um, users dot store. Okay, so we want when we submit this form, it submits it to this users dot store. And remember we have this route available because in our routes dot PHP show you here we have defined um route resource here okay users controller all right so now let's close the form and we do that by saying form close okay and in here let's just do a quick label uh, 
uh, we can do that by saying form label and uh, let's do a label for the username property of the user model and since we have um, many properties of that model we're going to list them out soon but for now let's just deal with the username property and we also want a text field for that as well okay so we have a text field and you have a label for the username property right so let's go to our browser and instead of navigating to us one user let's say users slash create and we should see a form but we have an error right 